Welcome to our Meet Your Authors Forum. Participants are gathered here to meet with three distinguished authors to review three books. Uh, with us are Mrs. Kendi Kamsin and Mrs. Nimi Akikubi. I'm going to give a brief introduction of each of them. We have one more author who is supposed to join us here uh, in a couple of minutes, hopefully. That's Mr. Larry Olushola. But let me give a quick introduction of um, Mrs. Kamsin and Mrs. Akikubi, and then I'll ask them to give introductory statements and then engage them on issues they've raised in their books and then open the floor for questions and answers. That's the real fun part, hopefully. Um, Mrs. Kendi Kamsin is the founder of Sweet Sensation Confectionery Limited, one of the most popular chain of quick service restaurants in Nigeria. Mrs. Kamsin is regarded as one of Nigeria's leading voices in business and entrepreneurship. She is the author of this book titled Pots, Pans, and Spoons. And also, Mrs. Nimi Akikube, she is a well-known and respected personal finance development advocate. She has relentlessly gone about trying to provide financial education for people in Nigeria and other parts of the world. She is also the founder of Best Man Games, which brought the customized monopoly to Nigeria. Mrs. Akikube has been a top management level banker for many years and she's the author of this book titled A to Z of Personal Finance. So we're happy to have Mrs. Akikube here and Mrs. Kende Kamsen. <laughs> My name is Ola Kunle Kasumu. I'm the presenter of Channels Book Club. Um, what we'll do now is I'm going to ask Mrs. Kamsen first and then Mrs. Akikube to give introductory statements. Um, and I would like them to focus on um, why, what inspired them to write their books um, and then why they, they believe the books are important for any reader. So Mrs. Kamsin, let's start with you and then Mrs. Akikube after. I'm happy to be here today and I do hope that this platform will help aspiring business people find charter costs for themselves. Um, writing the book um, did not originally come from me. It was approaching my 50th birthday and um, my many mentees thought that I had a story to tell and they said to me, Auntie, I mean you're almost 50 and you're not going to share your story with, you know, with the world, especially since they knew that there were lots of problems in birthing the business that they know to be sweet sensation. And they encouraged me to put the story down. The tone of the book does not carry any really formal tone. It's written in easy prose and almost like I told the story after I woke up from a good sleep. <laughs> and I hope that is what it becomes for those who choose to use it at some kind of standard. A six-year-old or almost going to seven-year-old book um, cannot portray today's situations as it exactly is, but at least the book has, I believe, has encouraged a lot of people and um, I would say that I hope that today's event will actually spur me to do a revision of this book. Thank you. Um, first, I must congratulate Channels Book Club for setting up this amazing event and for investing in our reading culture, which we so badly need. Um, my journey. 23 years as a banker, I came across hundreds of people with different levels of financial success. I saw so many scenarios. I saw people who created incredible amounts of wealth, and then they spoilt their children, and the next generation finished everything, and the family was literally broke. 
I saw people who didn't take up insurance and one bad illness wiped out decades of, financial, of building financial wealth. I saw housewives who didn't know anything about the family finances and they lost a husband and were in total dire straits because there was no will, there was no estate planning. And this made me start to write articles from about 15, 18 years ago, writing articles to try to educate people about their personal financial lives, which impacts absolutely everything you do, from getting married, having a baby, having a job, building your home, investing, saving for retirement, every major life event is impacted by your finances. And so this book, The A to Z of Personal Finance, is basically just a compendium of some of my favorite articles over, over the years. And I'm so glad that you're all here to enjoy it. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Let's start um, on a, on a, at a very general level now. Um, We'll start with A to Z of personal finance first. Both subjects are very related, as we all know, business and finance. Um, what's your take? When you look at Nigeria from, from that scope, what do you see in terms of the way we deal with our personal finances? Does it worry you? Are you seeing improvements? Is, it, is there a decline in the way we handle our personal finances? Um. It worries me hugely. It really does. First of all, we come from a very, very materialistic society. I think, I think we're quite unique in the whole of Africa. We're very showy. There's a lot of keeping up appearances. There's a lot of doing what, trying to copy what your neighbor is doing. We 